Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. What do you think? <laughs> okay, I'm going to throw that question at you. Is it, uh, I, I, my first answer would have to be no. I don't think it's possible to hypnotize a dead person. And I, I, don't, think, and I don't think you can hypnotize chicken. Yeah, wake up, wake up. You know, although apparently it was dead. Oh, deaf. I'm sorry. They said dead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be facetious. I thought you said dead person. I apologize. Yes, it is very much possible to hypnotize a deaf person. Hey, three times now. And, and, it, and I'm getting ready for the fourth. Three times now, I have spoke to international audiences. Uh, back in, I guess, 1997, Prudential Insurance hired me to speak to their international conference where it was 5,000 Japanese who did not speak any English, Japanese, Chinese, Brazilians, Italians, and something else. And they all had translation headphones on. So I would say something, it would be translated, it would take 10 seconds to translate it or something, and then they'd get it. Now that's weird, because if you're talking and you say something funny, and then 10, 20 seconds later, that section starts laughing, and you go, what they, oh, oh and, then, and then they start laughing, and then they start, like, very bizarre. But you had to hypnotize them with mime. You had to do it without really using a lot of language. And it worked, and I did that in Istanbul. I did it for that international audience. I did it in um, Hong Kong, and I'll be doing it the 24th of April in Egypt. I've been hired by the YPO. Yeah, I'm going to Egypt on the 24th and then off to Rome again. So, and they all use translation. So yes, you can hypnotize deaf people. You can do it by mime. Do, pardon me? Oh, see, that's not hypnotizing a deaf person. That's just using nonverbal communication. So, I mean, you don't have to use words. And, and I have been doing that, that's another thing, I, I have been doing that the entire presentation. Breathing deeply, you know, ooh, if you watch, I mean, as I say, there's all kinds of things going on here that you may not be watching. I got, I'm sorry, sir, if you hold that, I'll answer it afterwards. Uh, I've been given the signal, I got five minutes to get off stage, so what I need to do is wrap these guys up. I need to unwind them. I want you all to listen very, very carefully, especially the person sitting out in the audience, as I count backwards from three down to one. As I count back from three down to one, every suggestion that I gave to you while you're sitting up here is going to be totally and completely removed. I repeat, every suggestion I gave while you were up here is, or out in that seat is going to be totally and completely removed. Still drifting very, very deep asleep, but I, when I reach number one, all the suggestions I gave are back to the same before you walked in here. Three, going deeper and deeper. Two, more and more relaxed. Every suggestion erased. Three, two, and one. Deep asleep now, very deep. Beautiful. Excellent. I got one more. 